name Wagyu Yakiniku is really because uh, we want to serve Wagyu beef. So we have this like motto or liner that, that we, we actually use it is Wag the meat, not the wallet. Hi, my name is Wan Ling. I'm one of the co-owners of Wagyu Yakiniku and we are located at Midview City. At Wagyu Yakiniku, we specialise in serving affordable Wagyu beef and other different types of meat, pork, chicken, even seafood, prawns, squid and salmon. All my partners, we are friends. So we are friends to begin with. We all love food and we also like any youngsters nowadays. We like to eat instead of eat food. So we, we came about and one day and think maybe we should, you know, try to start out a company to serve affordable meats, affordable food and an insta-worthy food to everybody so that you really don't need to burn your wallet. We don't barbecue our meats on grills. We barbecue them on uh, lava stone. The raw material is actually made uh, from an active volcano in Italy, Mount Etna. The unique point of this lava stone is actually to cook your meat more evenly. So it can hold the heat up to 250 degrees for about an hour. All of us have our own day jobs. We come from different walks of life, so how do we actually take time to manage this goal? It's really a lot of time management, a lot of teamwork and discipline. When we first started, uh, we will take turns. So every day after work, we will come in uh, to the store and then we will help out. Be it in the kitchen, over the counter, serving the customers or, or you know even clearing the tables and all. We will start from our serving time, which is 5 p.m. So from 5 p.m. all the way to 10 or 11 or sometimes even 12 if we need to clean up a lot of things, uh, stock take and, and we ensure that all our ingredients are fresh. We do not have any uh, prior experience to f &B, so this is really our first time. We have friends who have experience who actually started uh, um, their hawker stores and, and they're doing well. So this is one of the reasons why we are actually very inspired. In November last year, we started out at this Tampanese coffee shop. But unfortunately, they had to sell the coffee shop away. Actually, that's the main reason why we moved to Midview City. The Blanche crowd is, is very, very good. Like, there's a lot of offices here around, residential areas that are all here. And the, the whole coffee shop is very big and spacious. That is actually very good for us. Because when you barbecue, you also don't want to like be cramped up in a very small area. There's actually challenges also um, for setting up the business, right? We, we're actually first timers. So a lot of things like where to buy, where to purchase uh, kitchen equipment. We have to do a lot, a lot of research. And then of course, la, for every business startup, you have to pay school fees. You never know that uh, when you move to a new store, you need to check the exhaust or you need to check the drainage. Or even is there fan in the store or not? It's just like little hurdles that, that we can take this opportunity to learn. Working with friends are, is not easy. Yeah. Like there's a lot of disagreements and disagreements will turn into fights. So it's, it's a lot of mental stress I would say and then you really have to deal with it. At the end of the day, just really be objective. Take one step back and stand from everybody's point of view. You're not always wrong. You're not always right either. So everybody just learn from each other. Okay, the happiest thing for this business is really um, I have found uh, very good stuff. I really want to thank my staff because uh, my part-timers, uh, they are all like students and they are all very responsible. So I always believe that if you treat your staff right, they will stay, they will actually help you grow the business. So we all grow together. And number two is of course my customers. Yeah. So when you serve the food and, and you see regular customers coming back, Sometimes when I'm here, I, I will take my time to go around the tables to ask them how are they, like how's the food and, and how, did, uh, how did they know of our store and all that. Then you will, you will hear like very nice things from them saying that, oh you know I really really like your food and it's very affordable, then are you really making money, you know? A comments like this just makes us happy, you know, because that's really our aim. We are looking at expanding as well. Of course, increase the food quality, increase the variety of uh, meats that we have right now. Our long-term plan is to move into a shop. Yeah, to have our own small little space so that our customers can dine in from there like more comfortably. 
we really, really thank all our um, loyal customers who supported us all the way from Tampines to Meet View City. Like, we really appreciate each and every of your feedbacks. We take them very, very seriously because this is our chance to improve. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon at WQ Yakiniku Meet View City.